the principal targets are naval ships. We are seeking primarily to learn what types of ships, tactical formations, and strategic dispositions of our own naval forces will best survive attack by atomic weapons should we ever have to face them. Eleven months after the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Operation Crossroads was conducted at Bikini Atoll, 2,500 miles west of Hawaii. The purpose of Crossroads was to test the effects of atomic weapons using two devices, similar in design to Trinity and Nagasaki, codenamed Abel and Baker. Shot Abel was to be dropped from a B-29, while shot Baker would be detonated 90 feet below the surface of the water. The target armada consisted of 185 Japanese, German, and American ships, ranging from small amphibious craft to battleships and aircraft carriers. The bomb will not start a chain reaction in the water, converting it all to gas and letting all the ships when all the oceans drop down to the bottom. It will not blow out the bottom of the sea and let all the water run down the hole. It will not destroy gravity. I am not an atomic playboy, as one of my critics labeled me, exploding these bombs to satisfy my personal whim. Animals, plant life, even biological warfare agents were assembled to study the effects of heat, blast, and radiation. missed its intended target by nearly 800 yards. The blast sent five ships, including two destroyers, to the bottom of Bikini Lagoon. All ships within a half a mile of the blast were heavily damaged. But damage was nowhere near that created by the following underwater blast known as Shot Baker.
Bikini Baker was an underwater burst of the same device, and it produced much more damage to the Armada of 70 ships. For instance, the USS Saratoga had the bottom of it essentially knocked out of it from the underwater burst, and the Saratoga sank and sets upright in the bottom of the Bikini Lagoon at the present time. I've often flown over Bikini Lagoon, and on clear days when the water is quiet, you can still see the Saratoga setting there. The area surrounding Shot Baker had become seriously radioactive and could not be safely approached for some time. This effect was not anticipated and ultimately led to a decision by President Truman to call off a third deep underwater test, codenamed Charlie. 